Captain's log. Start eight Greetings zero, and felicitations, zero, YouTube. Zero point two. Okay, West so. Patrol with my new ship and while my this is kind of going through its thing, well. we're serving as a explain what I'm doing here. for the USS Turong. We've been patrolling near the neutral zone for as the uh, title no doubt says. Destroyed Federation colony. Still no. This never a good time to talk in these. Despite the gravity of our mission, I can't help feeling slightly excited. Cap. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I am playing the final mission of Starfleet Academy. Uh, if you watched my stream last night, you'll know that we we beat the game in what I will call the the true ending, but we did not get the best ending, and that's what uh, that's what this is going to be about. And I when I say best. Please imagine me giving it the largest air quotes possible. We actually found multiple endings to this game last night. Um, one of them being, for whatever reason, a Klingon warship um, collided with the sun and then the sun exploded and killed uh, Klingon Children's Hospital. And we were flabbergasted. We got that ending twice. And then we got a different ending where um, I, I was able to communicate with the McClanty ship and uh, and then when the director of the Klingon Children's Hospital called up and said, Oh my god, I can't believe it. The Klingon crew is going to suicide into the sun and blow it up. And, which had me going, Oh, is that how that works? Okay, sure. Anyway, um, you were given the option of... Send... Uh, uh, I was given the choice to... to ask the McClanty for help to stop the Klingon cruiser because every time I tried stopping the cruiser before, it just auto-ended the mission if you count what I did as trying to stop the cruiser. You'll see when we get there. Uh, but it's long-winded way of saying that there's a better option out there and I disagree with it. And I'll talk about it when we get there. But uh, he here it is, the final mission in Starfleet Academy, and I'm going to endeavor to not mess this up. The no answer on any subspace channel. Scan for them. No sign of it on long-range scans. What was the Truong's most recent destination? The Truong was headed for the Federation colony on Javik 6. Corn, set a course for Javik 6. Course laid in, Captain. So we're out of the Academy now. We are actually in command of the real Enterprise. And we're testing our theory about the McClanty based on uh, simulations that Sturrock and I ran together when we were still cadets. in the Javik system. No sign of the Truong. Captain! I'm tracking some debris in orbit around the Javik 6. The debris is from a Federation ship, the USS Truong. It's been ripped to shreds. That means we're alone with the McClanty. Why didn't we receive a distress call? It is probable that the force of the McClanty attack destroyed the Truong before they could react. Can you follow the McClanty energy signature? Yes. The McClanty energy trail is on a heading of 116 Mark 8 toward the neutral zone. Course laid in, Captain. We're going to go to yellow alert and engage the warp engines to follow the McClanty ship. Where we will be presented with incorrect choice number one. <laughs> And poor game design as well. Scanner is detecting I mean. an unknown ship. It is in Federation space, heading toward the Klingon neutral zone at warp factor nine. The energy pattern is consistent with the McClanty. At that speed, we can only hope to catch it if it stops. The McClanty ship has just crossed into the neutral zone. Damn it, we're so close! Okay, now. It would make sense to follow the McClanty ship into the Klingon neutral zone to stop that planet from uh, that uh, sun from getting destroyed <laughs> without without breaking off the chase however if you do just cross into the klingon neutral zone they instant destroy the sun <laughs> and mission failed however if i wait apparently then the klingons won't destroy the sun We're gonna wait. Damn it! Break off the chase. We'll monitor it from the border. We can't enter the neutral zone. Because for whatever whatever reason, they as long as we wait, the McClanty decides to wait, and they don't they don't even know we exist. 
It's 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 weird, but this is the choice. They might as well have just made this not a choice here, but it's a choice. I'm picking up a distress call, Captain. It's from the Klingons. Uh, on screen. Uh, uh, he says. This is Klingon Research Station Board Chart 7 on Kurat 1. We are under attack by an alien vessel. This is Commander 4 calling any ship. We are a medical facility researching pediatric wasting disease and short cult. We're isolated from all Klingon planets and have 10,000 innocent young here. Okay. So... <laughs> so this is why... This is apparently what everybody was waiting for, or else Suicide the Sun. I, 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 uh, you'll see. It's weird. Magia, hail the Klingon. Magia, contact that station. That's what I just said. We hear you, Commander Vor. Federation? I'm Captain Forrester of the USS Enterprise. You must assist us! Sorry, uh, we don't help the enemy. The end. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we're gonna go with... I'm on my way, Commander Vor. I will bear full responsibility for your rescue mission. Vor, out! Captain, this could <laughs> Push be Push is non-existent. That button. is possible. A facility such as Vor described could be a Klingon stratagem to prey on Federation compassion. No. No, I think Commander Vor sounds genuinely desperate. I agree with Magia. Like Sun Tzu's 33rd strategy says, use your enemy's agents against him. That's actually, Gorin, that... That's a good reason to not agree with Magia, but whatever. Magia, send Starfleet a message with a data recording of Vor's invitation. Korn, set coordinates for Vor's location. Data recording sent, Captain. Course laid in, Captain. Since we're crossing into Klingon neutral zone, red alert. Don't want to go there without seeming prepared. Thankfully, we have an invitation from the director of a children's hospital. That's sure to carry weight with the Klingon government and military. <laughs> okay, there's, there's the McClanty. Big as life. The McClanty continues to fire on Karat One. They're not doing anything else we can mimic. You might think in this stage the best thing to do would be to attack the McClanty ship, but if you do, Klingon suicide the sun. <laughs> Instead, we do this. We're gonna join them in shooting McClanty continues to fire on Karat One. The plan. They're not doing anything else we can mimic. The McClanty continues to fire on Karat One. They're not doing anything else we can do. Captain, the McClanty ship has stopped bombarding the planet. It's turning to face us. It appears we have gained its attention. I suggest that we continue to mimic the McClanty's actions. Fascinating. The McClanty is turning its secondary weapons towards us. There is clearly a new pattern in the McClanty's broadcasts. I suspect that the message concerns us and our actions. Magia and I will attempt to connect their words to our actions. All right. Come on. Be a good boy. Captain, cling on ships to cloak it. I Two I hit the wrong button. In one D seven. Four shields have been hit. Well, anyway, you get to see the bad ending. I'll just sit here and wait for it. I accidentally fired a main weapon instead of the secondary weapon, and that clearly means uh, the McClancy can't trust us, and that the Klingons need to blow up the sun. We'll just wait. It's coming. Any second now. You have to keep in mind, there's no context for which you think the Klingons are going to suicide the sun. So the first time we saw this, I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm watching this scene happen, I'm like... Why is this a happening? Why is this a thing? And then... I'm reading an immense fusion burst from the sun. My reaction at the moment was... What? Robin, can we warp? Captain, I think we can get the warp engines back online. But if we warp, we might burn out the dilithium crystals. It'll have to be enough. Corn, get us out of here! 
And there goes the Children's Hospital. There goes the McClanty. And we escape, and then we get captured by Klingons. Huge diplomatic incident ensues. We are to blame. Um, what we didn't find out until much, much later is that the Klingon didn't do that because the the McClanty made them or something. That was actually the Klingon's plan for destroying the McClanty ship. That was the big strategy of the Klingons was we'll suicide our ship into the sun, boom, we defeat the McClanty, everybody's happy. And because of that, the Klingons tracked down the McClanty ship and destroyed it. We will never know if we could have communicated with McClanty. We get the blame. We caused grave diplomatic problems <laughs> for the Federation. Worst of all, I let down Captain Kirk. Why is that worst? Well, time to head home and face the music. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. So here we go. Trying it over again. Captain's log. I really don't want to be doing this Captain, all night. I the just... USS Truong is late. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we're skipping was, straight to that. And hard. shut up, shut up, shut up. In, uh, red alert. Warp over there. I'm not I'm not playing. The kid blows her off. I'm rolling up my sleeves. We're freaking doing this. One take. God, please let this be one take. We've arrived in the Javik system. All right, scan that debris. debris. Is from a Federation ship. Excellent. The USS Truong. Uh huh. It's been ripped to shreds. Say something that I can interrupt with the escape with the key. Come on. Why didn't we receive a distress call? I don't know. It is probable that the force of the McClanty attack destroyed the Truong. Oh no. Before they could react. Can you How sad. The McClanty energy signature. Yes. Mm. The McClanty energy trail is on a heading of one one six mark eight. Say the words, Corin. Say it. Laid in, Thank you. You have to wait for that course laid in dialogue or else you're going nowhere. Alright, now we have moral decision weird Scanners number one. Detecting an unknown ship. Oh, can't skip it this combo. Okay, space, come on. Heading toward the Klingon neutral zone at yep. Factor 9. Yep. The energy pattern is consistent with the McClanty. At that speed, we can only hope to catch it if it stops. Exactly. And... The ship is Yep, yep, Damn yep. It. Break off the chase. Oh, I hit escape too many times. Here we go. Waiting for the next signal, and... I'm picking up a distress call, Captain. Uh, can't. Come on. It's from the Klingons. Come on. Uh, on screen. Uh, on screen, he says. <laughs> he's commander of the Enterprise, and he's like, uh, on screen? And yes, we got special permission to fly the Enterprise just for this mission. It's weird. Okay. Magia. Magia. Sorry. Uh, we don't have... We'd like to, but we... I'm on my... Captain. That is no. I agree. Magia, send star data. Course laid in, Captain. Excellent. Okay, just like speed clicking through all those. Like nope, 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 nope. Yes, that, this, the, the other one. Go and boom. Okay. Scan the McClancy. Hail the no McClancy. The McClancy ship is continuously broadcast. As we suspected. Very good. There's the McClancy. Yep. Big as life. The McClancy continues to fire on Karat One. They're not doing anything else we can mimic. Going back to disabling lasers because I do not like shooting this planet the with real lasers. Continues to fire on Karat One. Come They're on. Not doing anything else we can mimic, Captain. The McClanty ship has stopped bombarding the planet. Okay. Don't it's turning to face us. Don't it appears hit we alt. have gained its attention. I suggest that we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's ah. clearly. Okay. 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 <laughs> Come on. Okay, we're on to the next stage. Fly Captain. towards... The the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Captain. I shouldn't have skipped that one. Ship oh, well. Is now moving toward the you can see how much patience I've lost here. Basically, what they're talking about is how, by creating patterns of uh, similarity between the two of us, we can create a common frame of reference, which is needed to learn their language. The McClanty is like... The McClanty ship is moving away from the planet. Is like a bio not bio like a, a, a synthetic life life form of some sort with energy readings that are really weird and they've been attacking federation and klingon uh targets all along the the neutral zone border Captain, making life miserable for everybody several connections between the mcclanty actions and the mcclanty words 
We know the basic McClanty terms for stop, start, fly, ship, shields, energy, planet, star, shoot, damage, wound, and debris. We can also communicate numbers and relative distance. Now that we have entered their semantic world, we should be able to engage in rudimentary communication. Hail them, McGee. You, McClanty. All right. Now, suspend communication for a minute, McGee. That's a bit too rudimentary. What's he saying, Strick? Do they think we're another McClanty? Possibly. But it's more likely that we simply cannot isolate their word for themselves from their word for us. True. After all, both our ships are performing the same actions. Start, start communications again, McGee. McClanty. We are the Starship Enterprise. One McClanty. One Enterprise. One planet. That would be an accurate accounting. Captain, this is helping. The more we communicate, the easier it gets to decipher their transmissions. McClanty flies. Enterprise flies. McClanty shoots. Enterprise shoots. Sturk, what does that mean? The McClanty see everything outside of themselves as part of a random, unintelligent environment. The McClanty Trust me. are currently processing the idea We're getting there. that there are other living, thinking beings in the universe, in addition to themselves. Enterprise. This took a lot of work McClanty. for the chat to figure out last night, McClanty. let me tell you that. Enterprise. And the closer we got to the end of it, we were starting to panic, because we knew at any moment, if we pressed the wrong conversation option, all of a sudden a Klingon suicides into the sun, and the entire system blows up. Like, why is that the consequence? <laughs> it makes no sense. Until they finally explain later, after failing it several times, how it all works out. Okay, um... Sturrick, any ideas? We're missing some important words here. The transmission streams show that the McClanty are comparing themselves to us. We are attempting to isolate the phrases. Got it, we've got their logical operators. We've interpreted the elegant logical structure that informs the McClanty's cybernetic intelligence. He means that we can now understand words like and, or, and not. And it's... The McClanty they're so excited about this, but it is, is not as helpful as it is. Because nothing else behaves according to their precise understanding of logic. And they have no compunction about destroying anything they deem random. I've interpreted the McClanty message, Captain. I'm putting it on screen. Look how happy she is. Enterprise is McClanty, but McClanty is not Enterprise. That's not that helpful. We knew that that's what they were saying. <laughs> Still makes no sense, Zurich. I suspect it means that they can understand how we relate to them, but not how they can relate to us. You sound as weird as the McClanty. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'll, I'll play along. Enterprise is McClanty, but McClanty is not Enterprise. McClanty not random, and Enterprise not random. Right. M McClanty not random and Enterprise not random. Star is random. In that moment, we panicked. We were like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, is he going to suicide another Klingon ship into the sun? We, t we, treat we treated this entire conversation chain like a hostage negotiation. <laughs> so we were, we were terrified of this choice, but this is the right one. Yes, McClanty. Stars are random. Planet is random. The planet Karat 1 is not random. Planet shoots random. Planet flies random. That doesn't matter. McClanty not damage random planet. Oh, what did we do or here? Or Enterprise damage McClanty. McClanty not damage random planet. McClanty damaged planet Kurat 1. Planet Kurat 1 is random. McClanty not wound Enterprise. Enterprise is not random. Fascinating. The McClanty see a distinction between objects which are damaged and beings which are wounded. Shooting the planet Kurat 1 wounds the planet. Planet Kurat 1 is energy. What about energy? Planet Kurat-1 is energy. 
McClanty, energy. You want enterprise energy? McClanty wants energy. My energy, enterprise energy. Oh boy, it got hungry all of a sudden. The McClanty learned to express the concept of want after you use the word. Now that we have entered their semantic world, they have gained the ability to enter ours. Sure. Robin, can we give the McClanty some energy? The McClanty ship has energy conduits all over its exterior and energy processing units inside it. I can send a controlled energy burst into one and, and see if they can process it. God, all of this first person perspective is so bizarre in this game. Okay, uh... Do it. Yeah. McClanty, Enterprise Energy is McClanty Energy. Feeding controlled energy bursts into the McClanty Energy Conduit. Energy, Enterprise Energy is McClanty Energy. The McClanty ship has accepted the energy transfer. The McClanty ship is successfully processing the energy burst. Sensors show that the McClanty is creating new molecular pathways in the middle of their ship. They're increasing their neural capacity. So they're actually getting smarter? More accurately, they are building into themselves the capacity to interpret our language. McClanty less wounded. McClanty wants planet to stop wound forever. The McClanty need a planet with the proper mineral content to survive. Judging from the energy transference, the McClanty need a planet rich in heavy metals and to lithium crystals. Good. M McClanty, we can give you a home planet. Enterprise is good. Aww. Okay. Here we are, next stage. Let's hail no that heavy cruiser. Captain. Pretty please. Captain, clean on ships decloaking. Two birds of prey and one D7. Hail them, McGear. Hailing channel open! You have violated Klingon space! Prepare to be destroyed! Wait! We're here on the authority of Commander Vor! My communications officer has informed me your permission is valid. You may stay if you wish, and witness us destroy this monster. We have the means to get this alien out of Klingon space. That monster murders everything in its path. It must die. We can communicate with the aliens. We can stop their rampage without harming the Klingon colony. This is a Federation trick. That ship is a war machine. Magia, transmit all data on the McClanty to the Klingons. Transmitting. All data sent. Interesting. <laughs> This thing is a simple time. Oh boy, okay. We understand why you would wish to take it out of Klingon space. Alright, and then it gets worse. Captain, both birds of prey are warping out of the system. The D7 is flying towards the sun. At that Command point I'm like, oh, game again. over. But here, here is the critical piece of information that we were just supposed to infer all of this time? On screen. Those vermin. Those honorless cowards! They would slaughter my innocent children to satisfy their lust for vengeance! A plus acting, my friend. <laughs> okay. Uh... Vor, how does the D7 intend to destroy the McClanty? The D7's left warp wing is outfitted with a fusion disruptor, a device that creates solar flares. If the D7 flies into the sun, it will incinerate all life in the solar system. You have little chance of outrunning it. <laughs> and then he goes, boop, and hits the button. Okay, that... <laughs> that is why all of that happened. I, I highly encourage everybody to go back and watch the stream and watch the moment that we first see the D7 fly into the sun. We lost it. I was broken for maybe about three minutes. Um, okay, but here's the decision we made in the, cha in the chat, which is... McClanty, help me destroy those ships. Because here we have a Klingon high-ranking um, individual, apparently high-ranking enough that he's able to grant us authority to be in Klingon space as a Federation warship. Not just any Federation warship, but the freaking Enterprise. Um, he says, we, you have to stop this guy, he's gonna kill all life in this system. And we have the McClanty now on our side, so, okay, hey, McClanty, help me destroy those ships. Because the McClanty stops the Klingons from blowing up this system. C uh, Commander Four, I think that's his rank, vouches for us and says, yeah, and the Enterprise didn't do anything to make the situation worse, they only helped 
and we saved the entire system. Uh, that's what should have happened. That that should be the good ending. And that's why we chose that. But instead what happens is the McClanty obliterates that D7. It's just, it's not even fair. It's just a steady stream of disruptor fire until, until the ship is gone. Which, first of all, I was like, why didn't we have that opportunity before? Whatever. Um, as a result of that... The Klingons accuse the Federation of using the McClanty as a weapon of warfare. And it creates a diplomatic incident with the Klingons that, um, that removes, like, all diplomatic contact with them. They're like, they, they shut off the Federation as a result. And the tongue-in-cheek response from, from David Forrester in his final mission log is, um, uh, to say something like, it would take something... It would, it would take nothing short of a planetary catastrophe for diplomacy to resume again. And guess when this takes place? This takes place right before Star Trek VI, Undiscovered Country, where a planetary catastrophe hits the Klingons, and then the Klingons come to the Federation for peace. So, I count this as the true ending. I think it should be the morally good ending, because this guy right here on the screen should be backing me up. But no, because we decided not to fight and the McClanty took out the Klingons, the Federation is to be blamed for using the McClanty as a weapon of warfare. <laughs> this is apparently the good ending. Let's see what happens. We've got to stop that D7 without involving the McClanty. Magia, cut communications with the Klingon and tell the McClanty to follow us. We're getting out of here. Absolutely not. It's We've got to stop that D7 without involving the McClanty. Here we go. Whoa! I just ran into it. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Shoot. I was about to check the damage report because I just rammed the Enterprise into a ship. We saved the McClanty and kept them out of the tensions between the Klingons and the Federation. We also saved Commander Vor's hospital. Not bad for a day's work. And roll credits? No, okay, there's a bonus scene. Alright. Sorry, Kirk, I totally ran the ship into a Klingon vessel. My bad. I knew you could do it. You not My king, expectations, but you the king of the internet, them. George Takei. Congratulations. Your analysis of the McClanty anti-electron matrix has moved our cybernetics program ahead. <laughs> the pose he makes there, like, ah. Chancellor Gorkin of the Klingon High Council called. He says your courage has shown just how archaic the neutral zone has become. I'm not sure I agree with him, but that's quite an admission from a Klingon. Gentlemen, here's the future of Starfleet. And the next generation of captains who will lead them there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get your hand off your hip. <laughs> oh, Space. Man. No, we're not frontier. doing it. Oh, we're doing this. These are the continuing voyages to seek out new life and new civilizations. Uh huh. And to boldly go. Thank you no for. It's the abbreviated forward. version. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> did not need the whole freaking speech all right so that is the good ending um i i have promised probably more than i should which is that i want to play klingon academy next and i'll do it in live streams but the downside is klingon academy is not currently available in a format that is playable on most modern operating systems um and the only way I have to play it is I have to get the ISO files and I have to mount them. Um, and then I have I have plans in place for a way to play Klingon Academy, which is by and far a much more entertaining and interesting game. Um, and it, it pulls in a lot of some really powerful actors from uh, uh, from Star Trek Six. But regardless. If I can make it work out, I will gladly stream that uh, and continue that campaign that way. If not, hey, 
I'm sorry, I promised more than I should have, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a hell of a good time streaming this game with everybody and reliving this game from 1997. It was a riot, it was a real treat, and I am done with it now. I hope you all enjoy, love you all, ta-ta, have a good one.